He is set to miss again with a hip injury. Scott Welsh has overcome a back complaint. Wayne Carey trained indoors again, but Adelaide is very confident he'll return. And a return of sorts for Adelaide rookie Hayden Skipworth. The club today asked for AFL permission to elevate him back to the senior list. Skipworth was delisted last season, but solid SANFL form and Andrew Crowell's move onto the long-term injury list after a knee reconstruction gives him another chance. At Alberton, general soreness kept Port's Dean Brogan off the track, but the AFL's form ruckman should be fit to tackle Brisbane. Kane Corns and Stuart Cochran are also expected to prove their fitness, but Port concedes Damien Hardwick's back may keep him out again. Ross Stargett, National Nine News. Well, if you're thinking about attending this year's AFL Grand Final, you're probably too late. Both Crow and Power fans have already embarked on a ticket-buying frenzy well before the major round begins. It's only July, but die-hard fans have already put plenty of thought into that last Saturday in September. Grand Final packages are sold out. We've seen a huge demand and so much so that we've sold all our tickets and we just uh, are desperately trying to get more tickets at the moment for the finals. Port supporters have snapped up 200 grand final trips from the club's official travel agent, while at the Crows, 250 packages were gone back in April. As far as grand finals is concerned, we have sold out, um, but we are waiting for hopefully more allocation. And they don't come cheaply. For a two-day package, there's not much change from $2,000. It's coming away to us because we just desperately need to get our hands on more. So now the only way to be at the G on the big day is if your team makes the grand final. But that's sure to spark another frenzy because the two competing clubs have only been allocated 17,000 seats between them. If Port gets their first priority goes to members with season tickets who have also paid extra for a club anchor. At the Crows, only the club's 9,000 gold members are guaranteed seats. And while fans are confident, the clubs are playing it one game at a time. It's all going uh, very well to plan and still uh, many games still to be played before the finals. Vicky Schwartz, National 9 News. Ian Thorpe has won his second gold medal at the World Swimming Championships, toppling his Olympic nemesis Peter van den Hoogen band in the 200 metres freestyle. Thorpe looked relaxed before the showdown with the man who denied him gold in Sydney. Fellow Australian Grant Hackett completed the field of three world record holders in the event. After kicking clear of the pack in the first hundred, the Dutchman and the Thorpedo had the race to themselves. From the final uh, turn, Thorpe stepped on the pedal and left the quality field in his wake. Hackett, of course, finishing third. <clears throat> Very pleased that I got through that read with the voice intact, gentlemen. Now that's it from me. Over to you. Excellent. Thanks, on, James. Keith, along next with the weather, which is going to be pretty unfriendly for the next couple of days. And that's all the more reason to take it easy on the roads. Here's where the cameras will be watching tomorrow.